Hello guys, uh, welcome to the CodeSpace YouTube channel. So in this video we are uh, going to learn about lazy predict. So we will learn uh, what is lazy predict and uh, how it is it will be used in our uh, our project. So yes, without wasting any time, uh, let me jump uh, into our, my presentation. So I have created some uh, small presentation here. So if like uh, this is a slide, it is saying like when we are when we are uh, starting our new machine learning project, our first step is to analyze the data, right? So when we create some project, we need to analyze the data and uh, we need to choose like what uh, uh, what algorithm we will use for our projects. Okay, so this is the scenario uh, when we are starting our first uh, or our new project, right? Supervised learning machine learning project. So our goal is to achieve uh, achieve uh, best algorithm by which we can get a better accuracy right so uh, this is the thing uh, and uh, yes uh, there is scikit-learn but uh, scikit-learn is not uh, not as much uh, good when we uh, when we talk about the time complexity like uh, if we if uh, we need to try all the um, algorithm sometimes to you know uh, to to uh, decide that which algorithm will be uh, best for our uh, our project right so that might be that might uh, ha, uh, need more time like so this slide is saying that yes yeah, sometimes uh, uh, it is also time consuming right when we need to test multiple models right so scikit-learn is there but it, uh, it is not as sufficient uh, right so <coughs> Uh, so this lady is saying that uh, how if we could run multiple vanilla models at once uh, before dividing into more complex approaches like uh, and have a better idea of what models in which we should invest our precious time so right so this is saying like okay we if uh, how if we we got the idea like okay this model is giving us a better accuracy so we we need to consume our our whole time into that particular model instead of uh, putting our time uh, to try and error all the models, right? So this is this uh, slide, and uh, yes, so uh, this uh, panda is saying that subscribe to the Code Space YouTube channel. Oh, sorry, <laughs> uh, the Pi Forest. Uh, Pi Forest consists uh, 40 pl uh, uh, 40 most popular Python libraries. So. It includes pandas. It includes scikit-learn. So we don't need to, you know, import a pandas and scikit-learn as well. Because when we will import a uh, pi for us in our code, uh, it will be automatically imported, right? So it consists all the things. So we don't need to import that, right? So this is the conclusion. But we will see it later when we will uh, do or we will complete our code, right? So let's jump into. Uh, uh, Jupyter notebook, right? So this is uh, this is my GitHub repository when I put uh, this code, and this is the link of the dataset. Okay, so uh, if you want to download the dataset, then you can download it from here, right? And uh, yes, uh, I will create one. Uh, I'll create one. Uh, one I have created one uh, folder here, and here I will create that Jupyter notebook, right? So we'll code. Uh, here, so I'll, I'll I'll open my CMD and I'll say uh, notebook. Oh, sorry, let me zoom it out. Okay, so not sorry, Jupiter, Jupiter uh, notebook, Jupiter notebook, and uh, one notebook will be <coughs> open here. So yes, uh, it will be open. So yes, as you can see. Uh, it is open and uh, yes i'll create one new uh, python 3 file here notebook here and here will code okay so i'll i'll go in my uh, github uh, uh, repository and in that i will open my file because i'll not do hold the code uh, from scratch because it might take some time and you will be get bored right so sometimes i need to do some uh, copy and paste things okay so uh, first what will will import these things right so first I'll copy I'll copy these things okay I'll copy these things and I'll explain this 
to you right so what we are doing here actually we are importing uh sorry uh, i is missing so let me import that okay so this is pi forest so we are importing pi forest here it means we have imported pandas uh circuit land and uh, hold that foot uh 30 or 40 at uh, that uh, modules here right and uh, we will we might get some warnings so we are just uh, we are just overriding that uh, things with this warning module right so we are saying one day warning dot filter warnings and we are just ignoring those uh warnings right so this is the thing and uh, yes uh, after that what we need so <coughs> uh let's import this whole right so it will uh it will be imported in our project so let's import that as well okay okay so we are just importing random forest classifier because we will have the uh, the need of this uh, random forest classifier and the uh, logistic regression for checking that our model is perfectly like uh sorry uh our uh, lazy predict classifier is classifying correctly or not right so we are importing random forest logistic regression range stress split okay and accuracy score and uh, matrices uh, i think we don't need this uh, in a, in this uh, project uh, but yes uh, if you are doing something uh, with matrices then definitely you will you will need this right uh, okay so we are impo also importing lazy predict here and uh, from lazy predict we are importing lazy predict classifier right so <coughs> let me uh, let me go ahead and uh, what we are doing here uh, uh, okay so i have already i have already downloaded uh, uh, train and test uh, csv file so i just put that in uh, here okay so now we are have uh, let me open that also so we'll uh, we'll understand more okay so this is our this is our csv file right and in that there is uh, lots of column with the uh, like passenger survived p class and all the uh, parameters okay and uh, this survive will be labeled right so we are we are having this titanic data set and we are uh, classifying that the passenger is survived or not okay so this is all our, our parameters and this will be our label right so this is all the things and uh, you can see that there are like some uh, uh, like string data and uh, like this uh, mm, this stuff data right messed up data so we'll also overwrite this data set don't worry okay so either we will like uh, remove this column so we, we might get good accuracy okay so what we will do we will just for uh, this sex column we will uh, we will convert this male and female into zero into the form of zero and one okay so we'll do it later don't worry so okay so we are what we are doing actually we are uh, we are uh, like uh, reading our csv file so let me do that okay so let me do that okay so let me press uh, uh, shift enter so i pressed shift enter and as you can see we are not getting any error so this is working correctly right so now uh, oh i forgot to give the name so i'll give uh, I'll give lazy, lazy predict. Okay, predict. Yep. Okay. Uh, and uh, yes, after what we will do, we have our uh, uh, CSV file in different uh, variables. Like okay, this is in train CSV file uh, data frame, and this is test CSV frame data frame. Right. So now. What we are doing, we are doing some little cleaning. But if you wanted to explore more, then you can do uh, as much as you can, right? So, what we are doing here, we are actually, uh, we are actually saying that, uh, yes, uh, as I told you earlier, like we are, uh, we are converting this male and female into the form of zero and one. Okay, so this is the lambda function which we are using. Uh, if you don't know lambda function, you can just Google it and you can find the solution, right? So this is the lambda function and what we are doing, we are converting uh, male into one and uh, if there will be female then we will say there will be two. Okay, so I'll, I'll copy this and just paste it here. Okay, and I will, I will say uh, shift enter. Okay, so this is running uh, successfully.
you you can play around with this uh, column but uh, we here what i am doing is i am just uh, like uh, dropping the column name name ticket cabin passenger id pass and back okay so from a data set i am just uh, uh, removing some columns for a better accuracy you can say okay so um, by removing or dropping this column we we might get better accuracy because i tried uh, this things you can play around with like removing only one column or two column or something okay i think you are understanding what i'm saying right so this is the thing i am removing some column from here okay so let me copy uh, this line as well right so just i'll just paste it here and i okay this is running successfully now uh, uh let's let's check for some null values in our uh data set okay train data set so let me check that as well so is an is a function uh to find that that uh, there is any null value or not any okay so and uh, this will this sum function will sum all the null values right so let me press shift enter and as you can see that uh there are uh there are 177 null values in h okay so uh, we are just replacing we are just remove removing uh, uh we are just dropping that null values okay and so let's let's do that so by this drop and you you are like uh, dropping that null values from data set okay so this is working fine right so we have removed uh and let's check if there is any null value or not again okay so let me copy that line and paste it here and as you can see that you are not having any null values right now okay so we have removed that thing and now what we will do we will just say we will uh, remove we will remove i think you you can see that okay so we are removing our uh, label label from our training data set and uh, putting that into x variable and uh, we are we are putting that survived column in a y variable right so let me press enter okay shift enter so as that is working fine and now what we will do we will just uh, split our data into uh, 75 25 ratio okay so we are not giving any uh, parameter here because by default it take 0.25 okay so as you can see we are like let me press shift enter so uh, that that will be uh, okay so this is taking time and okay so it's run successfully so we have split our data into train and test set and now what we will do uh we will we will create a classifier of lazy predicts so we have imported lazy classifier uh, uh okay so here we have imported lazy classifier right so we are using that right so we are using that and uh, i think you noticed here that we are not uh, importing pandas here but we can use that because of uh, pyforest as i mentioned in our uh, presentation right so uh, here we have created the classifier and now now what we will do we will do uh, we will fit uh, our train and test data into that classifier okay so let me do that so as you can see we have we have uh, fitted our uh, uh, data into the classifier and if i'll i'll say models then the magic will happen so okay it 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 will take okay so i'll i'll click shift enter and i am getting something that lazy classifier <coughs> lazy classifier is not defined okay okay i have imported that imported that let me do that okay i have not uh, ex uh, i have not uh, click shift enter here so i need to do that okay need to run cell uh, so i think uh, okay it is running 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 and 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 as you can see the magic happened uh, you are getting whole this uh, 29 okay so one is uh, missing from here uh, i don't know from lazy classifier uh, earlier that was 30 models but now it is 29 i think so that's fine that's fine right because now you can get all the things uh, from this classifier and uh, from here you can like okay you can uh you can get the idea like which model will get 
uh, by which model we will get a good amount of accuracy right so by this you can uh, put your uh, computer time in particular model instead of uh, instead of trying and error all the models okay so uh, it will you know time uh, it will take uh, less time so this is the have one uh, why i'm creating i have created this video and i'm creating sorry i'm creating this video and uh, yes this is the magic of basic classifier and uh, in your mind there will be uh, uh, one question that it is the correct uh, result or not right so for that let's check okay i don't know you don't know right but well we can check that okay so let's check it out okay so let's check it out so i'll i'll say uh, i'll I ha we have imported that random classifier from sqlan right so i'll just uh, paste some line a few lines of code here and what we are doing here we are like uh, creating a random classifier uh, object and we are passing training and uh, x train and y train and fitting that into a random classifier object and we are just uh, getting a predicted values okay let me run this cell and we are uh, here we are printing accuracy score f1 score and all the things right so let me do that so i'll say i'll say shift enter and as you can see we are getting 0.79 accuracy and 78 uh, fn score okay so let me let me uh, compare this with uh, actual random for uh, so we are getting 79 okay so 79 and uh, here uh, here is a random classifier and this is giving us a 78 so this is quite you know nearby value so we can we can uh, like okay we can uh, see that we are getting a good amount of accuracy as well so yes we can like use this lazy classifier to uh, to spread uh, to get the idea like which model will be useful so let's do another uh, logistic regression okay so i have uh, done same things for logistic regression and we are getting 0.77 for uh, accuracy okay 0.77 uh, and uh, what is where is logistic regression so as you can see we are getting a correct accuracy so okay we are getting a nearby and correct accuracy so i think this is the good and very good i can say because like uh, by this we can uh, we can reduce the time to uh, we can reduce the time to you know try and error all the models but like we can get the idea like with, in which model we need to uh, consume or more time right so uh, let me let me open my slides and let me uh, complete this video with some conclusion here. Okay, so uh, okay, so lazy predict is an easy and fast library as we as we seen right. So gives a good prediction of how our models will behave with our data set. Uh, sorry, with our I, there is there is correction with our data set right. So but yes, uh, keep in mind that the result obtained with lazy predict. Uh, should not be considered as a final models okay so as i told you earlier right so this might uh, it might gives us a uh, some uh, different results sometime okay so here uh, i have mentioned that statistic is a large component of data science and since different models have different approaches and you should know how each of models works before choosing your final one so this is the theory portion and you need to uh, like understand what uh, what the statistic is right uh, uh, what uh, more importantly, data science is a complex field, and there are, uh, aren't magic solution with props and cons. Use it uh, as your first iteration to confirm your approaches and plan, and uh, approaches plan, uh, and always double check the result using tools such as Scikit-Learn, as we have done. Right. So have a fun and let me know if uh, it is work for you. And uh, yes, uh, do subscribe to the CodeSpace YouTube channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.